All right, I am gonna go ahead and kick the stream off. Yep, I just uh, started mine. Also, Cocaine Bear was an amazing movie, Austin. Hell yeah, it was. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget. Everyone yeah, I, I can't forget with everyone saying it every fucking five minutes I'm in their company. You said it to me when you got home three times. Justin said it in the car ride about eight times it's over the course trip. of like four hours. Oh, Kirby, I got Dustin to watch both the babysitters in one sitting. Good. <laughs> if there's oh, a god, he has abandoned me. We're easily awaiting the sea thoughts. Hey! Hey! You're never abandoned. Right. I'm always here. Uh, whose mic, who's mic is popping? God it's damn it. Josh. Oh, hold on. I defense that. There we go. That there. This there. Catch up. Oh my god. That's awesome. Right away. Awesome. Oh, oh. What? What? Catch up? I'm sorry. Catch up's back. <laughs> oh, catch up. You're, you're, you're follower i was very confused for a second i'm like what i i should start my stream all right my stream is uh, alive uh, Woohoo, uh, episode 19 yeah. uh heck yeah all right i'm uh, duh, i'll be back in five minutes fuck motherfucker i just started my stream you guys yeah yeah go ahead continue i want to get out of my fucking work clothes oh my god <laughs> you were sitting here for how long mm -hmm. Oh god, Jacob, there's a bird in your room. Do you know that? <laughs> I missed it. I wasn't looking. Where was it? Ah, oh, Dad, I love all of us. He goes to change out of his work clothes in his room without turning his camera off. Someone did the other cameras rolling. This would be worth something. <laughs> there you go, set the mood, Austin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I gotta. Someone added age restriction. Quit while we have time. I've always said I'm a mature streamer. Always same. Same here. <laughs> I started playing the actual thing. Started playing Chandler's Whispers. Yeah. Did. Oh, 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 there's, there's no show. Okay, everyone lower the age restrictions back to normal. He put a shirt on. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jacob, I, I started playing the saxophone of Careless Whispers as you walked away. I also raised <laughs> my phone up to record it after Austin started singing Careless Whispers. <laughs> Purely because I, I, you walked away and I'm like, goes to change and doesn't even turn his fucking camera off. <laughs> right. Hey, 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 everybody. Goodbye. <sighs> is, is that ketchup name, Ketchup the Dragon? Yes. Guess who's in my chat? Oh my god! Oh my god! He watches oh. all of us! Oh. Ketchup be spreading the <laughs> love to you two. Heck yeah. Catch up be spreading love to you too. I'm try I'm trying to think if this is someone we 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 know in real life because I don't know. It might because he never comes to my stream. Or at least I don't recognize his name. Oh uh, okay, yeah, no, that's don't, don't, that's ominous. I'm everywhere. I don't think <laughs> he's ever been I don't think they've ever been to my stream either. You know what, Justin, have you checked your windows okay. lately? Do people live in your walls? I I, 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 I am getting voice. <laughs> I'm getting message confirmation that I don't know any of us. All right. <laughs> and apparently oh. you found mine out of luck. Oh, nice. Oh, so you don't yeah. believe a random man on the internet that he doesn't know any of us and not the fact that he lives in Irby's walls? <laughs> uh, hey, if they watch the stream, you know, whatever, they can live here. <laughs> I mean, the stream is not what I'm concerned about them watching. <laughs> as long as you're paying rent, you know, I don't care. <laughs> if they so happen to live in the walls, so be it. I mean, if, if, you gotta, so if, if you gotta, if you gotta live, 
You gotta live in the walls and sneak out at night, take toe pics, and sell them on OnlyFans to be able to afford what rent. The you know the fuck. Hey, hey! If anyone's taking my toe pics and selling them, thirty <laughs> percent. If I'm asleep right. the whole time, thirty percent. That's how much I'm taking. We got that on video. <laughs> Let's see if I can't find all of theirs. <laughs> no one's gonna fucking want them hobbit toes, Josh. I have hobbit toes. I know no one wants my hobbit toes. It's okay. So 30% of zero is still zero. I'm just uh, saying. Then... If they start selling my toes on OnlyFans, I want 30% of the touch. Yeah. That's all I want. 30% of zero is zero. Uh, do -do 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 so, you know what? May, you may not necessarily gain anything. But zero percent of thirty means you're missing out. So you know if he doesn't lay claim to it and he makes thirty bucks, then he's missing down. out. Take it low. On a whole nine dollars. <laughs> that nine dollars is like a subway sandwich. No, it's not. Twenty years ago. Not, not a year. <laughs> Twenty years ago. <laughs> uh, more, more like three years ago, in all honesty. <laughs> Five dollar. Anyway. Five dollar. There's one of the one of the boys. <laughs> and let's see. Let's see. The wall dweller is getting more names to the list. Oh my gosh. So where is If only I wasn't completely and totally inept at using technology. It, Just it, hit it, it until it works. Ketchup seems like the kind of guy who's willing to play along with the wall driller thing from the response of I am everywhere, so I'm just gonna roll with it until he tells me not to. Uh, uh, they, po they said posting everything to only toes now. <laughs> oh my god, he wants my toes! <laughs> you know what? I got the best toes. I got the best toes. He's grabbing his cat. I was about to prepare feet. The toe beans. <laughs> toe beans. Ketchup. How's it going, ketchup? Oh, heck yeah. Wait, no, his cat's already in the room. What is he doing? Like Who's a virus. He grabbing? <laughs> I was wondering where you were. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, show ketchup. Us, show us the toe beans. <laughs> All right, let's see. They are, they're very nice walls. Yes. Toe beans. Toe beans. So so, because Dustin's favorite toes are cat toes, he is a furry. Yep. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we'll get a nice close up of them toe beans. Oh, the, yeah. The That's council is in agreement. <laughs> Dustin, you are the... a furry. <laughs> Dustin, what's, what's the name of your stream? Um, Twitch is Shadow Hulk. Um, yeah, somebody probably needs to type that in chat. Cause... Fuck my elbow. <laughs> Uh, S-H-A-D-0-W-H-U-1-K. Uh, he, he spelled it out and I'm lazy. You can just go back and... <laughs> <laughs> we are all an amazing group of people. Oh, God. No, you, you might no, have, no. If you're we trying to find my chat... Bunch of chuckle and find my that's, stream that's and... It. Uh, that's catch it. up, you found it! Yay! Yeah, found it, catch up. Catch up. I appreciate you. Follower you, number 50. You are appreciated. Yo! Follower number 50. Party time. Let's Woo. go. Catch up the all dragon. Right, all right, you, 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 Dustin, since you've revealed your face already, it's got to be feet picks now. <laughs> I just gave toe picks. For Dustin's 50th follower, I will reveal <laughs> my feet to the stream. <laughs> No, you I your feet. Fucking, you, you put those grippers away. Foot reveal. Foot reveal. <laughs> Official foot reveal. All right, all right, you keep all those right. grippers away. God, all powerful and almighty, end yes, my suffering. Yes, yes my son. <laughs> all right, so we should actually like fucking start. And now like, it's like, a like, to the furries. <laughs> And as always, until I am required to be on your Tailspire map, I'm going to make my Tailspire maps. Okay. Because what else I'm am not, I going I, to do? I'm not sure you're going to need Tailspire today. I just have it up because it's a boat. Yeah. Like, I spent a lot yeah. of time on this fucking boat. Yeah, who wouldn't want to see this? So I'm going to show it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, recap of last week. Um, a... 
another home of the people showed up. Um, home's called Naraka. And the high chief is uh, Kasrapar. He informed everyone that a Grick vessel had been spotted um, just down the coastline. And after a brief discussion between all the high chiefs, as well as you guys and Captain Reddy, it was decided that you would take on a contingent of soldiers from Salisa and go take the Grick ship for yourselves. Um, Captain Reddy told you that the goal was to capture, not sink, to attempt to get any information that you could. Upon getting to the ship, uh, you guys, along with the help of Silva and a deck-mounted 50 caliber machine gun, absolutely yeah, yeah. shredded the Grick on the top and then plunged into the lower decks where another two dozen or so Grick were waiting for you after killing them all and chap almost dying. Um, again. again. Are, are, we, are we admitting uh, dropping the mast and almost killing me from the action report? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> I'm glad my life is a passing footnote in your story, Dustin. <laughs> I mean... Isaac, Isaac almost got sandwiched between the two ships. You know, that, that would have been some nice catch-up right there. <laughs> Um, he doesn't really bleed though so <laughs> and then uh, yeah so after that you, as you finished up killing the rest of the Grick that were in the hold from the very bottom of the ship came crawling a gargantuan you're an elf right gargantuan elf dragging one of the people along with her, uh, claiming she was from a. Well, have you revealed that yet? I don't know if you've revealed that. Yet. I just said that I am from the British Isles. Okay. The British Empire. So, yeah, British saying Empire. that they they are formerly of the British Empire, and had been had their ship and crew has have been lost to the Greek. And they, I've not and, mentioned it, but I kind of inferred it with the soup pot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, here we are. There was a conversation that took place between... What the hell is your character's name? Kale. I, I'm going to struggle to remember that. It'll be fine. Kale and Captain Reddy, where dicks were measured, and because Captain Reddy has the bigger boat, he came out on top. <laughs> you know, if you did a dick measuring contest with a woman, you must have the worst handicap known to man. <laughs> Which benefits uh, the pro the child inside your private yacht. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where we left off. A uh, quick question, Dustin, because I don't think I we discussed it. Was the ship that I was on sunk, or was it captured? The ship you were on was last time you saw it as you were groggily drug off, being drug off of it onto the Grick ship was engulfed in flames. So assumed sunk? Ass assumed sunk. If not sunk, too damaged to be useful. would be your assumption. Good, because I have a lot of assumptions going on in my head right now. Yes, yes you do. Uh, before we leave the ship, uh, I was going to double check the captain's quarters to see if there's any information. Alright. Wolfheart may or may not have missed. May or may not have missed. Let me just uh, I gotta pull my Thing up here real quick. There we go. All right. You may enter the quarters. You should have free reign of your character to do whatever the fuck you want. God. All right. I'll slip through because the mast is right there. Yep. Uh. 
guess I'll start with this desk. Try to okay. see if I can find so, anything. Don't, don't beat me to it. That's if that's an investigation, that's a two. That is an investigation. I think so, that's a two. <laughs> Should be. What uh, on the desk? Um, you just see burnt bits of paper. Um, you know, Wolfhart was in here earlier. I don't think I, I do don't... know that. Because I was already down down the stairs before Wolfhart Were you? was up there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well. Okay. So yeah, all you see then is you see um a few small burnt scraps of paper with nothing discernible on them you can tell there was a fire but it has gone out um you're not really sure how as the or the grick that is there is very obviously dead and but it looks like it was padded out so uh, I guess I'll go over to the Grick, see if he has anything on him. Okay. Oh god, is this another investigation? It is another investigation. I, I mean, know I'm not the best person for this. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That's a negative <laughs> one. That's a negative <laughs> one. Google, you can ask someone for help, you know that? Some of us have intelligence stats. <laughs> so, you, you go over to the Grick, you start looking and to, to investigate what happened with your uh, your former medical knowledge, and you look down and you, you touch your fingers to where the arteries on most humanoid creatures would be, and you're like, yep, he's dead. It's to be made out of meat. All right. <laughs> yeah, <just look. laughs> then I'll go over to the bed, see if there's anything underneath it. Oh, how long has Kubo been watching on investigating these things? I mean, with my low rolls, probably not very long. Yeah, Good. probably not very long at all. That's a four. <laughs> this bed was used. <laughs> all right. Well, I am defeated. Is it anything interesting, Kubo? Nothing. All right. Damn. Um, there is a dead in there, but I can find anything useful on him. It's so funny, too, because you didn't have to roll very high to get some information about this Grick, and you rolled a bat one. <laughs> Did you open the desk drawers? You were in there for not a lot of time. Did the desk have drawers? <laughs> Josh, you don't even know there's a desk in there. Oh, you're right. I don't know there's a desk. I don't, I don't even know Wolfhart went in there. Well, be my <laughs> guest to see if I miss anything. <laughs> I, I guess during this conversation, where the fuck am I? I don't know. Are you, you can pretty much be wherever you want to be, because Justin said he wanted to do this before he left over, mm -hmm. or went over to the, to the off the ship, so... If you want to jump over back over to Walker, you're free to do so. Otherwise, I would assume you're on the top deck somewhere. You're you're kind of free reign. Do you mind if I roll to see if I can overhear the conversation? Go for it. I have no idea if anyone's been in there. <laughs> Except for Kubo. I need... Perception, which is a plus six. This is not the most investigative person I've met. Twelve. Who say it kindly? Well, oh, were you guys so trying to be quiet at all about your conversation? No. No. Okay, you you hear it. All right. You hear them quiet. You do overhear them talking about. Well, I would go over and be like, "Well, I already searched the desk." Already passed over that paperwork. Um, I didn't search the body, mostly because it was it wasn't on fire at the moment. <clears throat> well, when I looked, I didn't find anything on him. But what kind of papers <laughs> you find? Maps, mostly. If I'm remembering correctly, God. Yes. Maps. They've okay, stolen your sacred tats. How does that make you feel? Yes, I mean, you, you found 
crudely drawn, handmade maps. Oh. Almost like a two-year-old made them. Not Actually, quite wait. that, then. I think a two-year-old would have been better. Yeah, I, no, not quite that that bad. They they look like they were made by somebody that somewhat knows what they're doing, but doesn't really have the proper implements to perform the task correctly. I mean, it's the the shorelines are a, a fairly decent rough approximation, but all the topography and stuff like that is non-existent. Um, and then the 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 locations of the the various tree markers that you saw were accurate from what you know. So Hey Reddy, what are we doing with the boat? <laughs> Shout over to Red. Well I figure if we leave it here, eventually they're gonna figure out something's wrong. So I'm thinking we should uh, maybe leave a couple of you behind just to do what we can um, and, and haul a tow rope from Walker to this and take it back with us. Prize, if you will. Hmm. What are you doing, Benj? <clears throat> Would we need to fix the wheel for that to work? Maybe. You wouldn't know for sure until you started going whether or not the wheel was destroyed and locking the rudder into a turning position or not. Uh, would it make things easier? Definitely, but you might be able to get by without it, potentially. Uh, one way to find out. <laughs> but when towing it back, if there's a problem about that, I have to fix it. I always have to fix it. Uh-huh, Mr. This Carpenter. Is my life. <laughs> Mr. Smith, Mr. Carpenter. I wear all the fancy name titles on my hat. Wait, he's given a hat? Fuck you, bastard. I doubt it when Helm killed himself. <laughs> silence. <laughs> I win. Just I win every silence. hat. I win every hat argument from now on. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Is that, is that a hat? Oh boy! Walk right into that one. <laughs> you kind of did. You kind of did. Well, <clears throat> I'll let Reddy know we might need to fix the wheel, but we'll find out when it starts moving. All right. And after you do that, he uh, he kind of nods to a couple of the people on the deck uh, that you recognize. Says something to them, and uh, they kind of scramble off and look like they're trying to scrounge things together. Oh, look at that. People running. Oh, I reckon there's a meeting to be had. You you said something about going in. When I heard Wolfhart went through it already, I was like, alright. Trust okay. Wolfhart. Okay. Tubo has proven himself to be not the most right. investigative, but Wolfhart. Wolfhart sees things that I don't hear. <laughs> okay. So, anybody else got anything? I'm basically a prisoner, so nope. All right. So. A few minutes uh, pass by, and the, the people Captain Ready talked to come back. They're hauling uh, long lengths of heavy rope, and they throw it over to you. Captain Ready says, I'm going to move ahead a little bit, and you're going to tie these ropes 
kind of along the front sides, and we're just kind of gonna haul it in a line. All right. But, and then they they throw one end of the rope over to you to uh, to have to attach. Have yeah. I already been uh, escorted to the uh, the the uh, med room or the the meeting room, or am I still watching from the deck? Uh, no, you have been escorted to the ward room. Okay. That was gonna be watching their uh, performance when it comes to tying knots <laughs> and judging them harshly. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of tying knots, I need people to tie knots, one on each side of the ship. I'm pretty sure besides Wolfheart, I think hey, I was Wolfheart. the best. You don't take the survival skills, right? You are a Lemurian scout. No, no, oh. <laughs> I, do, I, I do. I'm thinking of the wrong character sheet. I have a six. Oh, okay. yes, that is five more than me. You were a Lemurian scout. What were you Yeah, doing? I think Hound was the best one out of all of us. I know you don't tie some knots for and... us. And... <laughs> is that a one? Oh, is that my turn? Roll the boys. Oh. Roll the one. Well, boys. Right. So, you... Do I... Take... No, no, no. I'll, I'll be quiet. You, you, you take one rope over to the to the uh, the port side, and you find uh, a railing that looks relatively stable, and you can't really. You're not used to working with tying knots in rope this thick, so you put something together, and you think it looks pretty sturdy. You're pretty happy with your handiwork. It's fucking slipknot, isn't it? You you you, you should have just went impending doom here. <laughs> Signed <laughs> Dustin. <laughs> all, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, man. Try the one wolf hot. What did you say, Josh? Did you want to try the next one that wolf hot too? Yeah, sure. I love how no one's helping him either. I didn't help yep. him. Okay, yeah. so you get this one at advantage. Okay. You fucking dumbasses. <laughs> uh, ropes aren't necessary. 14 plus 6. 30, you can 20. still give him advantage! 30, 20? Alright. You tie a very solid knot over here. Like, hmm, that one felt better than the other one. That must be my imagination. Yeah, you're like, hmm, that, that seemed a lot easier. Must just be because I had experience with the other one. I really hope he tied a shoe knot. Loop de loop and pull. You know. All right. So do we have to hop across for the meeting now, or do we wait till the ropes get pulled? Um, Captain Ready, we'll leave that up to you. If you would like to come to the meeting, he will send another crew over to replace oh. you, but he would like to get underway to try to get back before sundown. Well, I'm stuck here, man, because I gotta fix the steering wheel if this don't work. <laughs> okay. So you're staying. Is anybody else... Staying, or are you going back to the ship, or to, I guess, staying on the Grick ship, or are you going back to Walker? I'll probably go back to Walker. Okay. Scuba's going back to Walker. Wolfheart, what are you doing? I'm probably going to stick on the Grick ship, because I have nothing that really requires me no. to be on the no. Walker. <laughs> so I can watch this all go wrong, anyways. Okay. Scuba, so throw a chessboard over when you're done. Uh, so, <laughs> Kubo jumps over, and uh, then a couple of other guys from Walker, just uh, kind of general crewmen, jump over to the Grick ship and join the you and you two and Adam on the Grick ship. Alrighty. Uh. 
I shouted two and votes. Silver, silver stays as well. Oh. Yeah, throw that chest bolt over. <laughs> Jack jumps back over to Walker with Kubo. All right. Because uh, he's hurting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he's going with the medic. <laughs> Dr. Man. Ben, please patch and me he's up. He's going with the doctor. <laughs> Who is no longer a doctor. No, he still has yeah. his medicine proficiencies. <laughs> he just is the magical doctor. Jet, you got ghost blood. Here's some cocaine. What? <laughs> you know, old time okay. you got this. You got ghosting in blood. Have cocaine. You're going to okay, make me want to do cocaine. But anyway, cocaine bear. Another thing. Uh -huh. okay. Cocaine, cocaine Lemuria? Anybody? <laughs> cocaine super lizard. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Don't give uh, ideas. <laughs> well, we already had a heroin bad and a heroin dragon. His name was Alfred. Yes. I don't ever remember giving heroin to a dragon. You stabbed the dragon with heroin knives. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the entire reason we had the heroin. <laughs> oh yeah. If my neighbors heard that sentence, they're probably like, "Who the what the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember now. Uh, Alfred the hell went bat. A one true <laughs> companion. <laughs> okay, so uh Kubo Check follows you down to the ward room where the new um acquaintance is also waiting. Just say prisoner. <laughs> and Captain Reddy joins you as well after a few moments he's just sitting there like her hand stapled similar to mine and just leg crossed over the other one just like giving a smile forget it did you give Captain Reddy your name mm. okay Lady he walks in. Okay, Stay. he walks in he's like alright well Alright, Lady Kao. Thank you for joining us. And being I really have much willing of a choice. to make concessions. You could have stayed on the other shield. Had you wanted to. I like keeping an eye out for things. I Just hope gives you us... can appreciate hmm. that I am doing this in the interest of my crew. I suppose. This is not a personal judgment. It is one out of necessity of the fact that we are in a strange world of which we know very little. And you are a person of which we know nothing. And if you are going to join me and my crew for this brief journey, it makes me feel better that you are willing to surrender your weapons to be returned to you once uh, there's more trust between the two of us. Hmm. Once we have proven to each other that the other can be trusted. I know that I must prove that you can trust me as much as you must prove to me that I can trust you. Trust is a two-way street. I am not blind to that fact. And so far all I've done is give. On that subject, and yet you're wanting more information from me. I'm assuming I'm this assuming meeting you're trying you to have with me. have not had much to eat, given you are a prisoner in the Grick ship. And, he's a, and he calls out, Juan, would you please bring in some, uh, some tea and sandwiches, please? And you hear from uh, a little hallway that's kind of got a, a little sheet hanging over in front of it. 
Uh, yes, of course, Captain Reddy. I, I, I will be out with them very shortly. And he, he I, I don't remember what voice I did for Ron. I'm sorry. It, it's uh, it pretty, it, uh, but... it's pretty close. Okay. <laughs> so, and then, so he takes off. Um, Have I had or... tea since we've been to this world? Is that something that yeah. they, that they do now or? <clears throat> um, you would have had your own reserves, I guess, from the sh the original ships. Um, let me let me look here. Um, I'm assuming Hawaii has some kind of tea, but it might not be the same same type. It it, it would not close. be the same type, but Hawaii does have um tea it would have mm -hmm. its own natural tea as well as coffee so yes i might be more you... i may be more around with coffee now damn <laughs> oh. <laughs> but uh so a few minutes later uh this this young man who you would recognize as being of filipino or at least southeast asian descent uh, comes in bearing a platter full of sandwiches, uh, just meat and cheese on bread, and a glass of, or I guess a pitcher and a few glasses, the pitcher containing a dark brown liquid with ice in it. And then he also sets down a small, um, bowl of sugar. Um, why is there ice in it? Well, that there was good old sweet tea. Sweet iced tea is the best drink there is. I I'm think afraid I you'll have to trust coffee. me on that one. As you wish. Well, some coffee if you would. And, and he, he, he just nods and says, yeah, yes, of course, Captain. And it comes back about three minutes later with uh, a small pitcher of coffee and pours, uh, pours you a cup and sets it in front of you and then leaves the pitcher there. Uh, I'm going to investigate the glass and make sure that it has not been poisoned. <laughs> okay. Since I am very good at those. <laughs> I rolled like shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think Are the you? hunger is getting to me. A little bit. The the smell of the sandwiches is really distracting you as you are you have not eaten in a few days. You've had meager amounts of water. What so what is your total roll? Ah, uh, for investigation four. If it because I don't remember what it is to detect poison. If it's anything, if it's anything different than an investigation, I'm assuming it is. I it might be. Or to roll in D D to detect poison. In a drink. And, and, and technically I don't need to eat Jet Dustin. Do any of your characters ever need to eat, Austin? <laughs> There's yeah. an actual that is an actual question for you because yeah. it's been cross. a while. Cross Wander, <laughs> Cross, Faust. Do I need to go on? That's all. So that's it. That's it's all. It's only been two characters. It's been three. the last. Okay, it's three. It's in the last. It's in the latest <laughs> three characters. Just started to prove my point. It's been the latest three characters. Fair. But I technically don't need to eat either. Okay. So I'm seeing it's it's more it's not really skill based. Um based on Xanathars, it's more uh DC and then you get your proficiency bonus with or if you're proficient in like a poisoner's kit or alchemist tools or something like that. Okay. So so plus three Plus, still, I'm assuming probably still intelligence. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we'll, we'll go that would have that would have taken it from the three to a seven. Okay. So as far as you are aware, this is not poisoned. <laughs> I would have hit him with a. You're positive it's poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> I will go ahead and uh, try some of the food. Okay. So you, you grab a sandwich and like you know everyone else in the room kind of grabs one and takes a bite. It's the typical like ham sandwich. Like no mayonnaise. Ham. Ham. <laughs> <laughs> it's all that. Like the ham sandwich. Yeah, the the, the, the mayonnaise the mayonnaise jar is uh. Well, I guess it would be here with Juan. You give it to Juan. And Juan is here, so I mean, it would be in the kitchen, but he probably already used it before the morning or before you guys left. So, yep. all the mayonnaise is gone. Let's just save it for the Ooh, why is the mayonnaise always gone? <laughs> it's my favorite instrument, that's why. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> but yeah, so you, uh, you, you. Try some of the food. It's a basic ham and cheese sandwich. It's a, it's coffee. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's 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 coffee. It's the navy. It's Folgers. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. It's it's coffee. It it doesn't taste off. Reconfirming your theory that it you're not being poisoned. After finishing the cup, she'll set it down. To business, then? Indeed. We are... Uh, we are headed towards a... city of our Lemurian friends. And, uh... As for my ship, I can control that. The city, not so much. You will likely have to speak again with the high chief of that city. Um, that well, I'm sure said, that I can work something out with them since um, our people have already spoke together once before. Is that so? Yes. You must be descendants from what they call the original Tailless ones that uh, she's gonna them. look over at Kubo mm -hmm. because Kubo Reloaded was the only ship. one who was on the ship earlier, and she's gonna go, Yes, deception versus wow, okay, Captain Ready is good at insight. I think, I, I think he's. Yeah, he is proficient in insight, but like, unless I roll an at 20, it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, that's a dirty 20. So, by the way, I'm not trained in deception. <laughs> What's your plus? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> so that's an at 20 versus a dirty 20. Mm -hmm. So you, you are able, you do convince him, um... After looking and at Kubo like and smiling at him and then lying to Captain right in front of him. Yep. <clears throat> that isn't entirely accurate. Is it? Miss <laughs> Kale. By whatever do you mean, Sir Kubo? Well, I'm pretty sure you said yourself you've been here for about 300 years. Did I? My memory must be failing me. Yes. Yeah, As would the memory on somebody that is uh, gets to 300 years age. old, maybe? Like I said earlier, you have to prove I can trust you. As, as do you much. with the information that I know. Yes. But, and I've not given you a reason 
cannot trust me. They've not, you've not given me a reason to not trust you until now. Well, something as innocent as me lying about my age. I thought we are we about, talking about it age. being rude talking about women's age. You should learn a thing or two from your Mr. Silva. <laughs> She's just going to start grinning. Lying about your age is one thing. Wait, did you say Silva was polite? <laughs> That's another story. <coughs> Lying about your age is one thing. Is that not Lying the about the fact that you are a descendant versus one of the actual original tales ones that first contacted the Lumerians hundreds of years ago. Now that's a 300 story. to be precise. All and you're doing is proving his point. And I'm to understand you went east. They were correct. Of course, afraid you would fall off the edge of the world. <laughs> Clearly, you did not. So tell me then. Where, where east did you settle? If you don't mind me asking. I'm assuming in this 300 years, you had your, your people after releasing yourself from what uh, believed uh, your Mr. Isaac had described the yoke of the British Empire. You have yes, expanded after your the territory. Revolutionary War, the United States of America expanded from ocean to ocean. Oh, that's cute. Either way, I'm assuming that you know of many of the land in the, this particular area in our world. Yes, ma'am, I do. We've been fighting a war out here for a war. couple months, but men have been stationed out here for years. And here a I war thought of... that the war would have been a little bit easier to avoid with uh, weapons like the one on the the ones on these ships. Well, it's kind of hard when the enemy's got the same weapons. Indeed. The uh, the war we come from, which I assume you come from as well, well, the entire world is at war for the second time. Hmm. How barbaric. Germans, the Japanese, and to a lesser extent, the Italians, have made a run conquest. The Germans have a significant grip on most of Europe outside of England itself. They've, uh, they've taken all of France and all the way all the way east up to the borders of Russia. Or I guess as we know it, the USSR, but as you would know it, Russia. And well, that just... that doesn't really matter to me since we have no way of getting back to our world at the moment. Indeed, but my mm, original point being, uh, we settled upon a uh, a set of volcanic islands. I'm assuming you know the ones. I'm afraid that's not very specific. There. A lot of volcanic the islands. bigger ones. Pacific. It could be, could be Midway. Could be Hawaii. I'm not sure the specifics are important right and now. And I do not have a map either. Anyway. Well, 
going forward, I would appreciate if you were you didn't attempt to lie to me, especially on what you would consider trivial matters. A woman's age is not trivial. It's a sacred thing that she needs to protect. But on to more important matters. Yes. If if you were one of the originals that came over, you uh you also know of the Lemurians flight as they f have fled from the Grick, I would assume. They did mention something about it, but it, more of the uh, running from their ancestral home rather than being a plight that they were initially going to be wiped out from. Well, the whole reason we came out here and took out this Grick ship is the Grick have pushed further and further east. years people had not seen the Grick but now they're encountered more and more frequently and this one got a a little too close to uh to one of the established cities of the people and so as their allies we came to help I see. And it's lucky for you that we decided to take the ship instead of sink it. You are correct. But luck is all there is to it. Your men were not the ones who freed me either. I would have tried to make my escape one way or another and I probably would have died. And I'm at peace with that. I can't fault you for not wishing to remain a captive. As long as you know, my men would have freed you. Had you not been capable enough to do it yourself. Or I'll take that as a compliment, you. Captain. That is as it was meant. So... I've told you a bit about how we came here. How many of these ships came with you? Two. Did I only see this one? This one, USS Walker. And USS Mahan. And where is this USS Mahan? Well... We don't quite know. We, uh... When we first got to this world, uh, there was a storm that kicked up that we made a run for as we were being chased down by some Japanese fleets. Hmm. As we made the storm, when we were seemingly transported somehow to this world. Upside down Stressed. rain. Indeed. Very Upside similar. down rain in a void over the side of the ship. Very similar. Not a recorded phenomenon that anyone was aware of, but given the fact that we experienced it, and you were telling me you experienced a very similar thing. It would tend to make me believe it's not recorded, because everyone that it's ever happened to is here. You would probably be correct. The only other ones who've done it before even me, or after, though I haven't seen anyone before or after, besides the Dominion. There are others. 
I believe the Lemurians called them, if my me memory is correct, the demons of the East. I'm assuming that's who they were def uh, referring to. The Spaniards. Heard mention Spaniards. And he gives a chuckle. The Spaniards are the demons from the East. <laughs> I'll be honest, Mr. Reddy. Even with your ships right now, I doubt you'd be able to defeat them. They are that n numerous. I appreciate the uh, information. But you asked about our other ship, and we don't yes. know where she's at. We were separated. Um, in that fight, Mahan took a severe beating. She's lost about half of her crew, a lot of equipment, a lot of repairs needed. So we, uh, before we had uh, figured out we had ended up on a new world, we were going to try to make our way back to Surabaya so we could try to get repairs done. And that's when the uh, that's when the Lemurian ship first passed us. And the ham for a uh, pre- discussed plan took off towards Australia and uh, last news we had was uh, she had veered from that course and had been heading west towards Ceylon I'm going to incite that God what the hell <laughs> he, he's, he's not lying about any of it but Veer. He's not. He is. They. Yes. Uh, the decision was made by some aboard that they would stand a better chance in Ceylon than in Australia. And you agreed to this? Uh, we've had no communication since we first split. The original plan was for them to go to Australia. Then how they, did you find out that they veered from said course? Well, it was gonna sound strange uh, to you, you, but how familiar are you with uh, an Italian man by the name of Leonardo da Vinci? How familiar am I with that? Um, are Sounds... you proficient or, or trained in history? He was in the... Nah, I have a plus one. Okay, okay then roll me a history check. Okay. Uh, Leonardo was in the 14s, I believe. She left in the 15s. 17. Okay. You would remember vaguely hearing the name uh, that Leonardo da Vinci was an Italian inventor and, you know, among other things. And that some of his contraptions he had attempted to do were flying machines. So, that's what you would know. Mm. Mm, the inventor? Yes, that's the one. Well, well obviously, he never got any of his flying machines to work but uh more like gliding from what i heard a group of american or uh, a team two american brothers uh, wilbur and orville wright were able to create a self-propelled flying machine capable of keeping men in the air for a sustained flight and the technology since then has advanced to the point where these planes as we call them can travel at significant speed hmm. 
technology yeah. does does rapidly advance. Interesting. While we're not sure where it came from, apparently on one of the islands, a group from Mahan found one of these ships <laughs> uh, washed up on the shore. And uh, they restored it to pilotable conditions and flew here. And by sheer coincidence, were able to find us before running out of fuel and informed us that my hand had started to head west instead of the pre-discussed plan. I don't mean to be rude, but it feels like you're beating around the bush. Uh, all of that's to say is we know roughly where she was and somewhat the direction where she was headed. But we don't know what, where she was. Was she headed towards um, the west? Towards Ceylon, yeah. Ceylon is, I believe, a city in India. Hmm. So yes, that would be the west. Well, it's it's Sri Lanka, which is just off the coast of Italy, uh, India. Mm. Let me be frank, Captain. Doing so is probably going to put the not only the Lemurians but everyone on this alternate plane of existence in grave danger. And why do you say that? I'm going to gesture towards the back of the boat where the uh, the other ship is currently getting dragged. And I'm going to point at that. I'm like, by chance, how many of those ships have you seen? From the group, that's uh, it's all we've seen and seen. Well, I think this makes number seven. Of the exact same type, of exact same model, exact same size. Yes, I did find it interesting. They do match the uh, the Indian men from. Yes, one North of our original ships. One of your original ships. Are you Let me be me frank. My people. Your ship. When you first came here, you gave them the blueprints, and that's why they are. No. Sailor, is that what you're saying? No, that is not what I'm saying. Let me be frank. The reason why my people have not gone back and discussed anything and furthered our relationship with the Lemurians is because we are isolationists by the point. It wasn't something that we all agreed on at the time, but is what the governor or the, the, group, the person who was in charge of our group at the time had said we needed to stick to. This proves his point immeasurably, given the fact we only sent one ship out to discuss with the Grick, one without its cannons and any of its weaponry, and it was just basically a blank vessel. And yet, all we have seen is nothing but that exact same model continuously replicated. That is terrifying. In the, in the fact that they are so easily able to replicate and reproduce reliably a design that they have, may have captured only one of. I understand your concern, and uh, it, it definitely is a cause for concern. Over Given the fact you said that your ship that has left was also heavily damaged, and I'm assuming that means its weaponry was also heavily damaged. And if enough ships of the, that caliber were to surround that ship, would they not surrender and try to su survive instead of trying to take them all down and sink the process? That I don't know. My point I stands that that ship could bring the end of 
us all if they are able to reliably and re- 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 uh, re- retro reliably Indeed. and readily not readily uh uh a, like th- very certain um i said it earlier reproducibly reliably reproduce that same ship they I'm could have a small armada of it i understand what you're saying for sure however i'm not meaning this as an insult but i do not think you understand the complexities of this ship and you think a, an east india trading ship being re- reproduced to a T isn't complex in its own f- form? An Indian man is wood. Our ships are steel. They run off of steam engines, in a sense, powered by processed oil, running on our, well, many of the instruments and things running on electricity much of this is technology that if the Greek as you say are so reliable or so uh, reliably able to reproduce things if you would you would think they had access or knowledge of these things they have, would have already been using them I understand where you're coming from, and it, it is a potential concern. We no, my concern is as, more as of... much for that as I would like. You know, to prevent that, I would also just like to reunite with the rest of my people. However, like I said, these ships are powered on processed oil, but they don't have of them. which we have. What was that, Justin? You said they can be run on wood. Just gotta clean it. Yes. It's incredibly dirty. And who's to say that they won't just use something a little bit less refined in the making? They may not make it out of steel, but they might make it out of something lighter. If they're making it out of something lighter than steel, then it's not going to stand much. But if they're able to make a multitude of them, it'll still overwhelm one ship. Yeah, potentially. I, I understand where you're coming from, for sure. And are you able to continuously make this pro- this processed oil, as you say, all all the time? And never run out of it, uh, or will you have to continue to stop back and get more of it? And ammunition to run these weaponries. Are you able to remake that ammunition? So, in a war of attrition, who would win out? As things stand currently, the Greek. We have plans set into place for manufacturing. I have said my piece. And I appreciate your information. But if you were smart, I would suggest that you and your people stop giving technology to both the Lemurians and inadvertently the Grick. Are you suggesting that we abandon the Lemurians and by no means am I saying that, but I'm saying do not advance their technology. If we you don't will not always be here to protect them. If we don't advance their technology, they will die. The Grit will come in greater numbers eventually. This much we know. And we have seen the anecdotes, or well, heard the anecdotes from the people. They used to be attacked by one, to the ship we saved was being attacked by six. If we don't advance their weaponry, they will surely fall. 
we are Lord. As magnificent as Walker may be, she cannot face the entirety of what I assume the size of the Great Carmada may be. Not on her own. If we don't stop the grip here, it may be 200, 300, 600 years before they get brave enough to venture across the Pacific. But from what very little I've heard, I feel confident in saying that they will not stop until the whole world is their hunting grounds. Meaning eventually, they will come for you, your people. And it would start just like it started with the people, the Lemurians here. One or two ships at first. But Eventually, you'll be losing entire ships of people to them, as it would seem you've already lost at least two in your 300 years. A little more than that, unfortunately. And so you understand why I cannot in good conscience not give the Lemurians technology and abandon them to their fate. So kind of just wave her hand and then just continue to sit there in the just thinking. Okay. these fucking politics. Yeah, I was never much for politics either. Hmm. I will tell you the reason why I'm out here then. I'm searching for a ship that went missing, and particular, in particular, um, a certain uh, young girl that was on said boat. Have you, in recent times, seen um, thick smoke on the horizon? Well... Not to White my smoke. knowledge. No, I have not personally, and nor has anyone reported it to me. But... Similarly to your boats, um, our, our vessels are, are run by steam. And this missing girl, is she your daughter? No, not mine. Um, no, the daughter of the current governor. So and I will tell you, you that I have the power to it authorize quite a bit for what meager power we have out here. But it has to be approved by him. Well, first and foremost, I feel for your people and the little girl that are missing. But I must ask, why, in God's name, if you knew the Greek were out here, did you send the little girl? 
Do I know that reason? No. Was not my choice. I do not know. I don't. I don't really know why she was out here. My job is to find her and bring her back. Fair enough. Well, looks like we both have missing people that we need to find. Perhaps we can be of assistance in helping you find this young girl. If you'd be willing to assist us. At least until such time arises as you have the means to return to your own people. Because not to uh, rub salt in a open wound, but you don't have to shield. You're all right. So, I'm uh, not sure how you would plan on getting back. So for the time being... Take it a step at a time. If you help us, we will do what we can to help you. I can agree to those terms. As for anything that I can help with your people with material-wise, I can discuss what options we have that you might have need of. But as I said, I, I can only grant provisional access. The uh, governor himself will have to sign off on the rest. Though if you bring back home his missing daughter, you could probably assume that a lot of that would be given as rewards. Just a thought. Not to dwell on, for sure. Now, Lady Kale, if you don't mind, I have to return to my duties before we get back to Bolivar. I will have uh, I will have Juan show you to a place that you may uh, may rest for the evening, if you wish. Oh, I've stayed chained up at the bottom of a fucking boat for too long. I'll be and on the I'm top deck. And you a bed. We could have a... We could have a mattress brought up if you would like. Otherwise... I do not need rest. I just need fresh air. Well, then you can follow me up top. Thank you. So he, he leaves, he turns up the stairs, you follow him. He uh, he walks up to Chief Gray and kind of says something in the into his ear that you can't hear. And, I uh, can't. Nope. Damn. Are you sure? <laughs> With a 19? <laughs> oh, jeez, great. Another 19 passive. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't hear. Damn it. <laughs> So he says something you can't hear, and uh, Chief Gray, you see this uh, this larger, older man just kind of nod his head and uh, go off on his own. And as Captain Reddy climbs, do I catch his? Do I check catch Chief Gray's eyes before he leaves? Nope. Nope. Damn, I was gonna wink at him. (laughs) (laughs) Oh well. Then uh, Captain Ready heads to the to the bridge, and now back to the ones of you fuckers that stayed on the boat. <laughs> yep. And hello, Co. And hello. hello. Oh yes, he- hello. After, I just didn't uh, want to interrupt. Appreciate it. 
Yeah, because you because you came in late, you uh he just had you stay on the boat. So yeah, that's yeah. Iron. Get in with us. You know, you are you are now part of part of what is about to happen. <laughs> oh God! I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a bad thing. It's, a, it's an okay thing. I, good or bad does not matter. What does matter is choices. Choices. So you guys hear the engines start to rev up after about ten to fifteen minutes. Um, after you've attached the rope and it, and all the, the necessarily people have uh joined or disembarked from the Grick ship. And uh, Walker starts moving uh, slowly away from you. And the, the cables, the ropes that are tying Walker to this ship start to uh, lose their slack. And as they start to gain tension, there is a deafening snap as the one on the port side breaks the railing off and the ship jerks heavily to the left hand side as the right hand side pulls over. I need everybody to make me a deck save. Oh, I'm not good at these. Oh, I need to load in. I freaking forgot. I think that comes out to a seven, Dustin. <laughs> All right. That's the way we wash our hands. La 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 la. la. Alright. So I'll wait, I'll wait for Coda to have to get Tailspire loaded and so he can roll in. I can roll That's an right. actual die. Alright, yeah, you can do that and just add your uh add your deck save. Nineteen. So nineteen plus okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're, you're fine. 27. So you're fine as the ship jerks. Um, the rest of you, Jack, Silva, uh, Wolfhard, did you roll your decks yet? I just realized that my thing was up because I didn't want to talk. 11. 11? Okay. So everybody except Adam that is on the ship, hmm. all of you fall on your ass as the ship is jerked violently beneath you as one rope snaps loose and is no longer being used to pull as it falls into the ocean. And the other is uh, holding tight. It could have been worse. Aye, but it could have been better. Yeah. You're the one who made the ropes. <laughs> Everyone's fallen on their ass. Oh, that's normal. Is it though? Yes. So then Walker stops the engines, th you know, you can hear the telltale of the engines throttling down and then going into reverse <laughs> as they reverse Beep. back. Beep. And you see us a, a crew hauling this ro the rope up. They sh just shake their heads, wind it up, throw it back over you, and say, "Hi, a fucking good knot this time." Hey, hey the way you the way you describe it, the ship itself failed. <laughs> hey, uh, so it had well, nothing well, to do with my knot. The well, ship yeah. the, sh the, the the ship right, the ship failed because of the location in which you tied it. Yeah. What is Adam's survival? Hi, Benji. My survival? Yes. Your survival, Adam. I'll be watching them tie it on this time. I yeah. don't think my survival is good. 
but what, what what's the number? Uh, survival. Actually, no, my survival is plus nine. Awesome! You did the tie the knot. You. T- All right. Congratulations! You've been volunteered. Was, I, I just watched Jacob volunteer. grin when he heard the number. Uh, <laughs> it's, like, three, it's really the tie. It's three larger than mine, man. Like, I hold on. I'm in the thing. It says waiting for GM though. So I haven't oh, been called. I, You're in the wrong I, place, then. I gotta pull you to the right. I can't. Pool. I can't go to the right place when that's up. Yeah, you can. You it, press enter. Go to the top left. Do you, do you see the the? Or or the I can left. just summon him to the board yeah. and yeah. Summon so, me like oh, a Pokemon. You have advantage because I'm helping you tie the knot. Hey, buddy. That'll be fine. One roll. Yeah. yeah so that's better. a twenty. Yeah, I mean, you might as well roll oh your just in case, nat 20. Uh-oh. <laughs> Two nope. down in the deck. So, yeah, you tie a knot. And, uh, it's a pretty, pretty fucking good knot. And, uh, you give the thumbs up to the rest of the crew. The engines fire back up and, and throttle back up. And you start to pull. Not jerkily, not canted to one side. I see what you did there. Well, I'm they, upset. They increase speed. Why are you upset? What? Not jerkily. Oh. I don't uh, like not. that. I, uh-huh. I hate it. That, you know, that was not intentional. Uh-huh. <laughs> was that That's what they all say. <laughs> Kill him. Yeah. But it's all so, in fine. Can I shoot a fight. shot at a god? Awesome. Is there a chair in the office with a desk? There is a stool. A stool? Not a chair. Yes. Uh, I can't put my feet up on the desk. Oh, I can. I just won't. I'll put the stool to the back of the wall and sit down and just put my feet on the desk as I wait for us to sell back. With the dead brick lying next to you? I'll push him to the side. <laughs> okay. Um, roll me a perception as you push him over to the side. Oh, these aren't that good. <sighs> God, you motherfuckers are blind. <laughs> yeah, that's not that good. That's a four. <laughs> okay, you push him to the side. Uh, oh my God, you're all fucking blind. I Have think Silva really do it. To be <laughs> Silva is just kind of sitting on the steps. Sitting on a log. Boop, 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 boop. However, <laughs> I, I do need to roll one more thing here. Okay. All right. Well, unless anyone has anything else they would like to do. I'm just in looking over the entirety of the bridge and watching how it operates and kind of soaking it all up. Okay. Uh, Ko, you said he wanted to talk to Reddy. He's not on the boat that he can, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's on Type, the, the tightrope. Ship. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not taking that jump. Listen, you take all that you jump. Have to... I can I can climb across the rope. It counts as a surface I can walk across. All we have to do is tie you to my back like a child. I <laughs> will not do that. Put 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 Adam in a baby Bjorn on Isaac's chest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Be like one of be, be one of those people that has a leash for the kids. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um, so if no one has anything else they would like to do, um, I'm gonna say let's take a quick break because I need to go heat up supper for myself and give supper to Benji because oh, I forgot yeah. to feed him before we started. Oh, oh that's dare you! And now Benji's angry at you. You see what you've done? That's you why you did to... rage. That's why you did rage pissing in the corner. <laughs> Well, typically he would be angry with me, usually, but it's 7 o'clock and he's not being a little ass about the fact that I haven't fed him. He's just sitting in my lap like a good boy. 
You know what that so means? So are we taking five or fifteen? I'll let you, what do you what do you guys want to do? I can do five. If you guys want to do fifteen, we can do fifteen. I just exist here. Okay. This is my life now. Alright. Well five minutes. Here here hearing nothing, I'm saying five. Alright. Okay. Let's go, Benji. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Come on. I'll get two for you. I get your so, what have you been up to, Joe? Uh, I had a class this morning. A class? A class on what? Driving. Driving? Yeah. I need to get it to reinstate my license. Oh, why? What happened to your license? Uh, it expired. Oh, why do you, you have, have to get, get a class in order to get your license back? Uh, yes and no. It had been expired for too long for me to get a new one without, like, retraining and stuff. But it's okay. How long did you go without? Uh, six months. Mm. Oh. You went six months without your license? I've never been pulled over. That is not a reason to... <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Fucking God. No. I've never been pulled over without my license. God, what the no. fuck? No, this, this no that's not an be... excuse as to why I don't, like, have my license up to date. Uh... So I just never paid attention to the expiration date. <laughs> and what ended up oh, happening... Oh, so so you never <laughs> paid attention to the expiration date. You let it go for so long, and then you went, oh shit, it's expired. Yes. That's what happened. I'm sorry, though. Just, just the, uh... You know, I never pulled over. <laughs> yeah, like, I was at the bank, like, and they asked to see my driver's license, and they s handed it back to me, and they said, you know that's expired, right? Wait, and wait, I'm like, question. wait, what? Did the bank still take it? Yeah, they took it. That's illegal. No, it's not. Yes, they it were is. taking it. They were taking it as proof of ID that I was me. Which is illegal if it's expired. I mean, the bank knows me. I do work there all the time. Does it make it any less illegal? I mean, it, they know me enough that it's not going to be a problem. Cool motive, still a crime. I'm not stealing. It's still illegal because I used to be a cashier, and if I asked you for your license and you handed me an expired one, I could not sell it to you, even if you were 40. I was yep. not buying anything. But it, it's still it's it's, a, it's it's the same principle. If your license is expired, it is no longer a valid legal document. They should not have accepted it because, let's face it, uh, if people went around, they could just make expired licenses, and then they would no longer scan correctly. And so if they just accepted expired licenses. Even though the scanning doesn't work, they could just be like, oh, yeah, it's expired, but we'll accept it anyways. And then a bunch of, you know, fucking insurance fraud, stolen identities, all that fun shit could happen. And so that's why you're leaving. Yeah, that already happens anyways. Yeah, it happens anyways, but it makes it a lot easier if people start accepting licenses that are expired. Well, whatever they needed my license for, they did not, like, need it as official documentation. That's what we call a gray area. I don't know how I feel about this. It doesn't hey. matter. It's not your shit. Yeah, I was about to say, hey, if, if they come knocking, it's not going to be at your door. That's fair. So if they knock on your door, let me know. Mm, I don't think they will. I kind of hope they do now, because you're being copy. Okay. 
You know, that makes me want seafood every time I hear that reference. Really? No. But it's from Little Mermaid. Oh shit. What happened to you? You don't hear my bus? What? No. You went oh shit. I got... I, it skipped like the last two steps on my cube. Did you tell me you're smarter than you thought you were? No, that's not. That's exactly what he's saying. No. He's smarter than he thought he was. It's d Jacob, it's learning. Oh no. We're gonna have to get the FBI involved. Dude, if he tried to pull the wool over your eyes, I won't let him. Wool over my eyes. I have to pull wool over my eyes to deal with you guys some days. Don't worry, it's okay because I don't know why you deal with me. Yeah, neither do I some days. It must be my winning personality. It's definitely not that. My sparkling eyes. Fuck. No. My luscious locks. Hey, 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 hey. That may have tricked your wife. <laughs> into saying yes, but that's not going to do anything for me. Shots have been fired. I'm done for the evening, boys. Let me, let me I wait will for see you never because Josh is going to kill me in my bed. <laughs> no, I won't. I can't about kill it. you. I can't kill you. Do you know why I can't kill you, Jacob? Because the way you torture me is by continuing to show up to my Pathfinder game. Yes. Exactly. Death is a release for you. A release you do not deserve. <laughs> you are instead made to suffer with me. You will suffer. Have... You will suffer as I have suffered. Do unto others as you would do unto yourself. Josh, can I fucking ask why there's a bunch of bags in the goddamn hallway to the bathroom? Because I, I keep fucking hitting them with my toes. <laughs> because the bag know. lady came. Oh, yes, yeah, bag weight lady's probably his wife. <laughs> I know. Fucking hurt. Oh, we found out my toes license thing. So, he didn't get pulled over. Instead, he used it at his bait and they accepted the inspired license. Nice. Yeah. And ba basically, yeah, no. he went so long without checking the expiration mm -hmm. date, and they went, Hey, you know that's expired, right? And he went, What? Huh? Oh, yeah, fuck. No. Josh, Jacob can't like you for your winning personality because he likes me for my winning personality. You're an Mine engineer. Is... You have an engineer's personality. Mine is ten times better automatically. <laughs> really? Because I'm the motherfucker that's talked my way out of three tickets in the last year. Seven. You've been pulled over seven times in the last year and haven't gotten a ticket? Not the last year, but like I've been pulled over a lot, not Dustin. Because you speed a lot. No, actually, I've never been pulled over. Why you guys get caught? Speeding? I've never been pulled over for speed. Actually, no, that's the lie. You see, I that's the right attitude to take. Once. Jacob knows what's up. <laughs> I got pulled over for speeding once after karaoke. Huh. And I told the cop that I'd been at karaoke, and I told him I had a drink, and I still didn't get a ticket. Oh, Jesus. Right, because you were honest about it, and you didn't. You were still below the legal limit. I He didn't even make me test for it. You were probably coherent enough that he knew that you were below the legal limit. Just take it, man. <laughs> Hit the top of it, dude. Oi, I've seen how he acts at that bar. He is not below the legal limit. Hmm. <laughs> 
you no, you you've, 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 you've only been there. You've only been there twice, and once was Josh's bachelor party when I wasn't driving. That is fair. Also, I had no. I everyone had one was shot sure. last week. Did we make it back tweet. safely? <laughs> yes, you make it back safely with no incident. Yay. And all of you motherfuckers are fucking blind, and it pisses me off. I mean, you did have me trip over the body and roll another perception if you want. <laughs> I mean, I haven't rolled my perception yet. I have a that's plus. Just, that's because you're not there. Exactly. Not the so I'm not blind. <laughs> you know, but fucking Wolfhard ignored it. Kubo and Isaac are both hey, blind. You were still in the middle of combat at that point. If you, I mean, if you, yeah, I know, but Wolfhard has an excuse. And, Isaac doesn't. And I even went out of my way to state I didn't check the body. But I don't know. Uh, check the Kubo. body. Kubo's is blind. God. Kubo's a doctor. I trust Kubo when it comes to bodies. Like, there's, there are two things. Yep, it's a dead body. Two things, and you guys are not able to see either of them. I mean, if <clears throat> Adam would like to step into my office. <laughs> Excuse you? I have confiscated yeah, as the ranking officer right. on the ship. I have confiscated the main office. <laughs> yeah. So as you're approaching bulk pan, Adam, you decide it would be a good idea to go tell Isaac we're getting close. Ah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Anyone could have done this. Silva could have done this. Huh. Silva has perception. Not as much as Isaac, or not as much as a uh, fucking Adam does. Hey, as long as it's above a plus one, I ha uh, Silva has me beat. So, so do I need to roll? Your your passive is a nineteen, right? Yeah. You notice a body laying in the corner as you walk in, with yeah, a fucking that. knife sticking out from underneath the armpit. Don't I need to roll for this? No, you have no. a passive nineteen. You have a pass of 19. You just see it. <laughs> that has uh, to roll if the passive is high wow. enough. Can I approach the body? Yes. Oh, hey, Adam, what brings you to my office? I, I'm not in your office, am I? That's where the body yeah, is. Yeah, you're in the office now. Uh, did you know that there's a body in your office? Yes, I pushed him to the side so I may sit on my stool. Why is there a knife through him? Kubo checked him. I trust Kubo's medical work. <laughs> uh, I think that you should have a talk to Kubo about his uh, latest escapades. So... <laughs> <laughs> are, are you going over and actually looking at the knife? Yes, I'm going to go over and look at the knife. This does not look like any knives that you have seen among any of the crew or the Lemurians. Intriguing. This knife design doesn't match anything that I've ever seen. Now, I will have you roll me an investigation check here, because I don't want to just fucking give it away, but goddamn. It's, it's way too cool to not have you fuckers put things together. <laughs> oh! oh hey. Alright! Hey, yo! So while you're looking at the body, the other thing you notice is that this Grick is uh, slightly larger um, than the others that you killed on this boat. As well as slightly better dressed. It's got copper armor as opposed to your typical leather. And on its belt, there is an empty sheath, approximately the size of a large dagger. Is the large dagger missing? It it's is. in the body. Well, here's the thing. If it wasn't missing, then that means that the guy was stabbed in the back by another crewmate. Then I pulled the dead out of the armpit and put it in the sheath. You can. Does and it it's fit? a perfect fit. 
mutiny? Potentially. Or he could have seen that it was hopeless fighting and just killed himself. Oh. In the Apparently, back? Uh, yes, because mm -hmm. if I am planning on killing myself, Adam, I will stab myself in the back and not go through... Oh, under the armpit? Under the armpit, not in the back. Under... So that would oh, be a strange yes. place to go for, unless that's a okay. weak spot. Think about the think arms, about, though. Think about a velociraptor, though. And the arms on a velociraptor. Underneath the arm of the velociraptor is the chest cavity. It committed seppuku. Did this? Hold on. Oh no. Where the fuck is? Because it had information that it, it, it on the on this. the other boat. And the other thing, you know this with your passive nineteen perception, Adam. As you're kneeled down inspecting the body, you turn your head. You notice what looks like a collection of bones underneath the bed. What? Do you think what? he had his meals delivered to him? We need to cut Kobo's pants. I'm so blind. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. I love. What? I was just like, nope, we're good. Uh, <laughs> you rolled like a three. I know! Uh. I'm thinking that uh, Kubo has some explaining to do, don't you? Oh my Kubo's god, I think Kubo did spy. it. Kubo's a grit spy. <laughs> He's already he killed did. Hound. It's another then one. Thought, then y'all thought it was fucking Bradford that was the big bad. <laughs> what, what, Adam, what do, you think, what do you think the grit are offering Kubo that he can't get from us? He's married. I... It can't be women. Fresh home. meat? I don't think that this is Kubo's work, although I, I will say... Much... This is very much sarcasm from <laughs> Isaac. I'm pretty sure that he's probably, like, seen as their king or some bullshit like that. Either way, we should uh probably tell him that he needs to, you know... Pay better attention when he's scoping out stuff. Get my eyes checked. Are you guys doing anything else in the office other than you're you're standing by the body? I'm gonna just move you just so I kind of know things. So you push the body off to the side. <laughs> yeah, because it was in the way of my chair. Oh no, that's. I don't know where the hell you fuckers are. I'm a man of class. I don't, I don't actually know where the hell you guys are. Uh, you can double click on their pictures and it'll take you right to it. There's. I found Adam. Isaac, I'm not sure where you're at. But like, move your, just move yourself into the office. Up the stairs, up the stairs, hoppity 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 hop. Okay. So, yeah, you're you're as you two are just kind of standing over here, like looking at the body. Adam, you have seen the skulls, certain bones and stuff underneath the bed. You've looked at the body. You've matched up the the daggers. Are you doing anything else? I either of you. Then I uh, made a investigation check to tell the quality of the data. Like, sure. What it's kind of made out of and everything. Try to discern some of the smithing techniques used. That's actually a pretty good 15. Okay. This is an obsidian dagger. I like with... the, the obsidian. Obsidian dagger with a copper handle with a ruby inlay. Please make me an arcana check. Oh, yes! Another thing I'm good at! <laughs> Ooh. 
27. <laughs> this is a plus this is a plus one dagger. Holy All Adam, right. it's a magic knife! It doesn't look that special to me. I've just never seen the design before. You really think it has magical properties? Yes, Adam. I do believe it has magical properties. I, I have exclaimed that it's a magic knife. <laughs> so this looks like the captain. Yes, yes, it does look like the captain. And Wolfhard said he was dead when he was in here. And Wolfhard didn't kill him. So someone else killed this bridge, or he killed himself. When, why would he kill himself when he initially saw us board? Unless they were part of the initial party. They probably remembered what we did to the others. <laughs> hmm. It is possible that that could be the case, but when we fought the initial party, I don't remember seeing someone who looked like a captain. Maybe they locked him in this room to make the maps. Map man with the magic knife. Well, needless to say, we're going to have to bring this up to Kubo and Reddy. That is something that we definitely need to do. What? All right. Why don't we wait till we hit the bolt pan? <laughs> Any anything else? Uh, no. I would like to have conversation with the nurse lady that I gave commands to. Okay. I don't remember her name. Give me just a second on that. So Adam Isaac, anything else from you two? Otherwise, we're moving on to Jessica. No, I'm I'm done. I'm, we're good. I'm gonna bring this body to add two poems that when we're done. Just like throw it on his lap. <laughs> hey, well that's it, alright? But god damn, I couldn't even fucking spoon feed it to you guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Welcome to being a DM. Never put <laughs> anything interesting behind a skill check. Because uh, the players it's... will never find it. <laughs> hey. So, Kubo, you've tracked down Sandra, Lieutenant Sandra Tucker. Sandra Tucker. And you want to have a conversation with her. Yeah. Or at least a little bit, yeah. Alright. Uh, little bit. I find her. Yep. Say. You, you would, you find her just hanging out. Uh, Miss uh, Tucker. Uh, I think we need to have a word with the captain. Uh, I have something y'all need to hear. She kind of gives you a side-eye glance. Just you and me speak to the captain? Yeah. What about what, you may ask? And, and roll, me, roll me an insight, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're fucking, aren't it's they? fucking true. They're fucking. It is fucking they're true. Fucking... <laughs> Fuck! You <laughs> dumb. That's a six. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, okay. oh. well, nothing. She says. God. She just says, what? What about my dance? <laughs> the fact you two fought it, no. Uh, <laughs> Don't do that. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> uh, um, about my position on the ship. I see. Um, okay. I'm sure he's in the bridge. Yeah. And she, she turns and walks out of the board room. I think this is the bridge. I think this is so much better with the fact that I just said, you know, we need to cut Kubo's pay at Fanazi. <laughs> <laughs> Who? We're at two strikes. Uh, let's see. Um, we're we're halfway in. How much has Kubo missed today? The magic the magic dagger. 
uh, skulls and bones underneath a bed, um, nervousness in the voice when she was like, what do you need to talk to me and the captain about? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that that guy is probably just a cannibal and eating other Grix, so, you know, carry on. Oh, God. <laughs> But, okay, so you get you get up to uh, the bridge and Senator Tucker. So Lieutenant Tucker walks up to Captain Ray. I mean, uh, she's just like, uh, Captain Ray, uh, Mr. Kubo, he would like to to speak to the both of us. We we assumed you would be here. <laughs> I really hope ready to like. Oh yeah, yeah I'm, I'm here too, aren't I? Because this is at the bridge. Are you in the bridge? I've been at the bridge the whole time. You, you're you're not in the bridge. I thought I gonna... followed Captain Ready, and but Captain Ready let me follow him. I thought you were going to the deck. No, he would not let you on the bridge. <laughs> oh. What the A stranger fuck? on the bridge? Unacceptable. It's kind of one of those things. It's like non officers don't get to go on the bridge unless they're Juan bringing Captain Ready coffee. Mm -hmm. no. No, and I am a prisoner. I thought he would want to keep a close eye instant. on. Maybe he's having Prisoners don't tonight. get to go on the bridge. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I, we had um, Japanese fella on there. Yes, but he was a special case. I think he is too. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Captain yeah. Ready turns us turns us to uh, yes, of course. Uh, what about? Uh, there are other people here, right? Yes, there are a number of other people here, manning kind of the the ship's internal communications. The radio would be. Whoever's up top. Okay. Um, there's there's the navigation officers. There's there's fire coordinators. There's a there's a number of people here. Uh, perhaps somewhere a little bit more private. Perception, me please. Oh fuck. Oh, but don't he's the lady's yes! on board. Okay, that's a. Uh, uh... That's a 23. So one person acting suspicious, done blank and I. Two people, yeah, okay, and I'm starting to pick up something's not quite right here. He's probably just nervous about the prisoner. Ever so slightly. The vending and machine very, acts weird. The vending very machine. Very quickly, Captain Ready and Lieutenant Tucker glance at each other. <laughs> <laughs> does and he then agree? after the writing, he does. He says, uh, "Let's step down to the captain's office and lead you to down there." <laughs> You get there, and uh, Captain Ready um, goes and sits behind the desk, and then gestures at the two seats for you and Lieutenant Tucker, and says, "Oh, please sit. Uh, what'd you like to talk about, Google?" <laughs> oh, well, this isn't the easiest thing to say. <laughs> um but after I found uh, something in me has changed and I can't hear You see an immediate, almost 
slightly imperceptible sense of relief cross his face. <laughs> with is then very quickly replaced by concern, as he says. What do you mean you can't heal anymore? You are the primary surgeon aboard the ship. Uh, I can't use my magic to heal anymore. He grabs a small knife from his desk slices it across his palm and says, heal me, as he holds it out to you. Uh, I uh, grab his hand and attempt to use lay on hands. And nothing happens. And he looks at it, reaches his hand over to Lieutenant Tucker, and she grabs it, and there's a the slight emanations of magic. And when he pulls his hand away, the wound is sealed. Emanations of something else? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Do I need to make another check? <laughs> no. Okay. No, I, you don't. Um, so you, and then you replace it. So, is this some sort of existential, I don't know who I am thing, because I don't have time for that. But if this is a legitimate, you can no longer use healing magic thing. Well, it's a different story. Either way, I'm assuming you brought... Lieutenant Tucker here because she's going to have to fulfill your duties as chief surgeon until you uh, regain your abilities. That's right. If you regain your abilities. That's right. He turns to Lieutenant Tucker. Are you okay with that? You uh, are the highest ranking medical officer on the ship, after all. That's only right. And she nods. And he says, well, then so be it. What do you, uh, what do you propose that you're going to do then in the meantime there, Mr. Kubo? Well, I haven't really figured that out, but I am not powerless. Last night, I was visited in a dream. Uh, you you kind of see some uh, questioning pop up in his eyes, kind of like... Raise this one eyebrow a little bit. Uh, fuck, you should have asked for a short rest, but that's fine. In a dream, huh? I was visited in a dream. Of. Her name was Titania, queen of a summer court. Do you know anything about that? Oh, God. I don't know if Captain Reddy knows that Jack shit about the frickin'. Airy court. Let's roll. I'm gonna roll religion because it's 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 beyond Arcana and it's not really history. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna roll religion for this because I think that's the only thing that makes sense. And he's like, "What's your response, uh, Tanya?" Some. It was like some some fairy thing, right? Like the you know, old old tales you tell your children, you know, be behave or the fairies will come kidnap you kind of thing. Them those that Titania? I believe so, yeah. Uh, you 
telling me she's real and came to visit you in your sleep. Yes. I know it sounds pretty, pretty far out there, but it's the truth. More than pretty far. Uh, and if it wasn't for the fact that you just watched somebody shoot himself in front of you, I would be placing you on immediate psychiatric leave. So, what did uh, this Titania want in this dream? She wanted to make me her knight. She had taken no interest in me as I was doing my best to save her back then. And she said that her last night a few days ago had disappeared, something like that. Yeah. Disappeared, and the power he had was returned to her. Yeah. The power she had returned to her. Part of me thought it was Ryujin, because it fits the timeline. But when she calls, I have to answer. She has granted me her abilities to replace the ones that were lost. I'm sure you saw earlier that uh, pew, pew. <laughs> the magic I was performing on that mast. Now that you say something, that is something I've not seen you do before, um, or any other healer, for that matter. My armor just... Can you do uh, anything else, uh, magically speaking, that you uh, weren't able to do before? Uh, I recast uh, uh, mage armor. Okay, so you recast mage armor and the, yep. these slight glowing sigils form around your body and, and Captain Reddy just kind of both eyebrows raised, eyes widen a little bit, jaw comes slightly open. Interesting. So you lost your healing abilities, magically speaking, and some mystery fairy offered you powers in replacement, and you agreed. I agreed because she said if I helped her, she may give us information on how to return home. Well, as much as I find this incredibly difficult to believe, I cannot necessarily argue with the, the things I have seen. And so I'm afraid I have to presume this is real. And if that's the case, and you are the key to getting home, you have just all of a sudden made yourself a uh, very important individual. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I don't 
He's enlightened me on any more developments. Is there anything else you wish to speak about? Uh. I don't think so. Not right now. Well, all right. Are you still able to uh, perform physical medical healing, surgery? Uh, did you lose your knowledge? Or... Did I take it? Did I take it? Did I take it? Uh, um. Okay, so I totally did not, uh, take medicine again <laughs> for my, <laughs> for my skills. Okay. I should say maybe I used a little bit of magic hands in there. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, I haven't tried, but I pro might be able well. to help still. Still have my healer's kit. Still know how to use that. I appreciate the sentiment. Uh, maybe we'll call you into if it's necessary. Time being, Lieutenant Tucker will take over full command of the surgical division with uh, the other two nurses that came aboard with you. Will uh, serve as your primary assistants. Kubo, we will uh, we'll find some other way for you to uh, contribute. For now, just don't get yourself killed. Because it sounds like you're the key to all of us getting home. Perhaps I could... Uh push the study of the Lemurian language, have another translator. For now, I feel that may be worthy. Uh, speak with Mr. Bradford. He's right. around here somewhere. He should be able to catch you up with uh, what he's learned so far. Alright. Well, I think that's it. He stands up and walks over to the door and opens it. Uh, Sandy, Lieutenant Tucker gets up, walks out. You follow her. He uh, he shuts the door behind you and stays in the room. And you hear uh, a slight sigh. I guess I'll go find Bradford next. All right. Maybe. So Bradford's room is just a few uh, few doors down from the captain's quarters. And uh, you would find him in there uh, just kind of scribbling notes. Right. His door's ajar. He's just sitting at his desk. Yeah. And... You knock loudly or uh, quietly? No, just a. Okay. He is either ignoring you or didn't hear you. Burp, 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 burp. Talk a louder. Oh, oh yes, Mister Mr. Cooper. You no, know, that's not it. Uh, yes, Mister Cooper. Uh, please come in, come in. I I can't find the voice. God damn it. <clears throat> what can I do you for, old chap? Well, uh, I was hoping that we could have another translator that can speak Lemurian. I was hoping you could teach me what you know. I, why, yes, my boy. 
Nope, that's Irish. I can't get the fucking accents. <laughs> Why, yes, my boy. <laughs> God, I can't get him today. Uh, Why, well, yes, of course. Of course, my boy. I'd be happy to tell you. Now, he he kind of starts flipping through notes. Takes a takes a notebook, throws it behind, just back over his shoulder onto the bed. Flips through some more pages, finds one on the bottom of the pile, and uh, hands it to you and says, "Yes, th this is what I've come up with from, and some of it at least. Um, a lot of basic s stuff there. Uh, sentence structure is actually quite similar to to Latin. Um, yeah, here you go." And he just hands you this this notebook, and you open it, and it's full of just scribbles. Uh, and, like the dictionary has all the pronunciation crap. Yep. And it's it's basically just a dictionary that he's creating. Oh wow! <laughs> of just all these common words in the Lemurian language. What a um, guy! And they, they get they get more and more complex as you get deeper into the notebook and there's there's separate sections kind of just blocked off uh, about like sentence structure and there's a couple about how this word means this in this context but if you say it with a certain different inflection it means something totally different and borderline insulting Ooh. yeah <laughs> oh, write boy. that down write it down <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm gonna cr gonna gonna cross that word. I'm gonna come across that word and call someone a cunt accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. I cunt. What? <laughs> oh. All right. Oh God. Do I have? All right. I take that back to my room then. Thank you, Brad. All right. Oh god, do I have to roll something? Um, are you gonna try to study it? Yeah. Oh no. You're gonna fucking hate me, but it's gonna uh gonna be intelligence, isn't it? it? Intelligence is what is used for learning languages, so That's a five. <laughs> yeah. You're overwhelmed. Oh god, I thought I was picking this shit up. <laughs> like you you have you you see a very few words that you recognize but they're, they're because this was written by bradford and how bradford's mind works <laughs> there's no true organization to it and so the it's not so much the language itself it's the 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 lack of organization that has you overwhelmed because there's no structure to it. Okay. Whew. Well, maybe I need to take a quick short rest. <laughs> 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 Said like a true warlock. <laughs> warlock, lords of the nap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll take a hour short rest. Alright. I also didn't take any damage during combat, so... <laughs> oh. Fancy. Yeah. But I get my you. spells back. So you're saying I should shoot you in the foot quick. No. <laughs> With the BFG. Wait, was that? Yes. <laughs> take it off right at the ankle. Yep. Call him old, old, old Stumpy. So I guess if someone else wants to do something. Yeah. Anybody else got anything they wanna do in uh, in this travel time? I guess I'm, I'm just kind of exploring the deck. Okay. And watching yeah. to see who exactly is the one he's he has watching me. So I'm just kind of <laughs> keeping an eye out with my passive nineteen. Okay. So you wander around. Um, you get a couple glances from Lemurian and American alike. Um, nothing 
intimidating or, or hateful or anything like that. Just uh, curious, if not slightly uh, intrigued. Mm -hmm. No, none of them have ever seen an elf your size. <laughs> And uh, you you would notice you see Chief Gray a lot, but you would also pick up on the fact that Chief Gray seems to be the deck commander. And so he is going everywhere, checking in with people, speaking with people. Mm -hmm. So you you see him a lot, but you you can't. You're not 100% sure he's actually following and keeping an eye on you, or if he's just doing what he, he does <gasps> as right. a senior deck commander. Because he, he is older than most of the crew. Right, um, right. And he, he obvious, <laughs> it's very obvious that people respect him. So you would easily discern that he is of a significant rank. Okay. Other than that, I mean, you, 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 you might overhear a couple conversations about. I wonder how the Lemurians will react when we into the harbor towing a ship full of their dead enemies and, and stuff like that but uh, nothing nothing really uh, overly intriguing or involving you hmm. yeah. the rumor mill has either not yet started or uh, they're taking care to not express things around you Noted. Anything else for anybody? I'm good. Hmm? All right. In that case, uh, We'll uh, reconvene with you pulling into the bay, into the harbor area, hauling your uh, your prize behind you. Um, a number of the the Lemurian fishing felucas and fishing vessels come um, make their way part way out, um, and then they see almost panicked hmm. a little bit yeah is this the same settlement that we that i initially landed on or is this a different one and if it is the same one how much has it changed since in that 300 years it, it is not the same one um the the original settlement you would know of was very rudimentary like basically it, it was a it was a couple huts mm. in in a in a in a little clearing by the water um and that that was on a different island just kind of they have certainly increased their technology in the, sh in the 300 years. Not too much, but remarkably well. So, after, uh, as you're pulling in and the, the fishing boats start kind of panicking a little bit, then they start to notice the few of you from the ship that remained on the grid vessel and realize that it is not 
the Grick following you into port, it is you guys hauling their ship in. And they, they seem to not only stop panicking, but all of the vessels go to the docks. Mm. So you, you pull in um, into your normal spot. There's the Grick ship behind you. Um, Kaji, Nocta Murr, and Kasra R. After um, Walker drops anchor, come out to meet you. Um, you guys can kind of board or unboard the Grick debark the Grick ship and make your way to Walker if you wish. Um, I'll leave that up to you. So who, who are, are all of you going to leave the Grick ship or is anyone staying? I'd leave the Grick ship. Okay. Uh, I have to, to tell them about what we found. I will be bringing the magic knife with me. We'll be... Okay. <laughs> Classic. All right, so assuming everyone leaves then, um, you get over there and Kaji, Nakjumber, and, and Kasra are come aboard the deck and they greet you guys. They greet Captain Reddy with uh, hard, hearty handshakes and laughter, with and greeting you with, "You are able to do it. You slayed the enemy." That must look to be sitting in the back, standing. <laughs> Yeah, they they haven't noticed you yet. Um, they're they're busy talking with Captain Reddy, and they they a brief conversation takes place, and then all of a sudden you see the attention of the entire group drawn to you. I just kind of raise an eyebrow. Captain Reddy, uh, just kind of gives you the. Come over, signal. Uh, I'll approach and like, are you going to mention to them, Captain, about the other prisoner aboard the vessel? Yes. But I wanted you to be here as well. And he turns specifically to Kaji here and tells him, y you might want to brace yourself. And then nods to somebody that was standing next to one of the stairs that goes below deck. And he comes up all but carrying this man, this Lemurian man. And Kaji drops to his knees in an open mouth blank stare of recognition, amazement, and relief all at once. And he just, after a few, few moments, as a few tears well into his eyes, he says, Sakfas. We thought you dead. You. Nobody had seen you since the Greek attacked Salisa home. Celeste, we will be very pleased to uh, to see you alive. And and, and he stands up and. Uh, walks over to the side of the ship and barks a command down in Lemurian and a few more Lemurians come out and, and help Sakfas over the side of the ship down into the boat where they take him immediately 
over to Salisa Bodhi. And then capture and he says, there's a happy <sighs> reunion. Our uh, other guest, it's Lady Kale. She comes from the east. Her ship, along with the rest of her crew, were uh, captured and destroyed or killed by the Grick. She has uh, agreed to assist us in our endeavors until such time as she is able to uh, find a means back to where she comes from. That is after I uh, find out the whereabouts, or at least ascertain uh, whether or not the specific person I've come to rescue is alive or dead. Yes, I left that out. I was unsure who all you wanted to be informed of that. The fact I'm looking for someone need not be a secret. The who and the why, perhaps, for the moment. Understood. So yes, she's agreed to help us as long as we help her in locating and returning this uh, particular individual to their homeland. I'm afraid we won't be doing any of uh, that searching anytime soon as this uh, journey has all but ran us out of fuel. We have about enough to keep the lights on for a few days, and then that's about it. Till the uh, refinery starts pumping out some true oil. I'm afraid a walker is not going to be very useful. And at this point is when you notice that Walker has been parked in such a way that the guns point towards the mouth of the bay on one side. So were it to become necessary, Walker is basically a floating battery. They are already in position to shoot without having to fire up the engines and turn the ship to do so. Now, as for uh, the other ship, I suggest we have, in the morning, a joint crew thoroughly go through and find, uh, well, find whatever we can. You know, some things have already been discovered as... You gave the maps to Captain Ready, right? Um, I believe I handed them off to whoever was on the deck. Okay. Because so yeah, I, he, I, I was in the maps, middle of the fight. I wanted to pass them off so they weren't on my person. Where they could get damaged. Alright, so yeah, he's got them then. Um, he kind of pulls out the maps and unrolls one of them a little bit and says... We have uncovered a few things already. I'm sure there may be more that has been missed. But that is why I suggest we go back in the morning. After, uh, well, we're not all so tired. Oh. Give it a thorough once-over. And uh, then we'll decide what to do with the ship from there. Uh, speaking of uh, things that might have been missed, have y'all ever seen a dagger like this? 
testing the Lemurians? They look at it and they all just shake their heads or, or say no. No. Oh. Never seen such a weapon. Uh, well, it's enchanted, first off. Secondly, there was a Drit we found in the uh, office who killed himself with it, we're assuming. Stabbed himself okay. underneath the armpit. The like, captain right ready at, at the mention of that turns and looks at you. He said, and you neglected to tell me this information until now? Uh, well, I did not want to walk across the rope to the other ship. And everyone was already gathered here when we got over here. Who said he got the body? Isaac, Isaac, I, I, I want you to, I want you to answer this question. Who do we know that would kill themselves rather than be captured? That would be the captain. That would be the Japanese. Thank you, Adam. That is the answer I was looking for. You think that they made it through, too? Well, given the fact that they were not immediately near us when us and my hand came through, I had believed not. It would be another group of them. However, uh, being killed rather than captured is not the most common thing. Not uncommon. I'll give you that. I'm sure there are more than just the Japanese that practice it. And it could just be a entire coincidence. And then he looks over at you, Caleb, and says, but if a Magi made it through and found its way into the hands or a partnership with the Greg, Looks like my idea wasn't so far-fetched after all, Captain. As she, as she before that, before she he started to address her, she he, she was already rubbing her temples. Let's see. Is Shinya on the top deck with us, Stanley? Uh, not in the immediate vicinity. You would have to, you know, actually look if you wanted to find him. Yeah. Uh, but... I just want to know if he's up here or not, because he said his alliance with us is temporary on finding more of his people. That was not his exact words. He said his ally he would agree to assist us as long as it did not directly go against his people. Hmm. That depends on if the Drift are actually working with his people. All right. Yeah, yeah. He he didn't say until you find my people. He said, "I will give I give you my parole, but I will not directly take actions against my own people." All right. So and there's a very important distinction there. There is. Yes. I was worried for a moment. I just, I knew it had been a while, so that's why I'm yeah. reminding you. I was worried for a moment. Ah. This was all relatively new information to us, ready? <clears throat> Actually, Adam was the one who found something off with the body. I didn't think to look after Tuba went through the room. Well. This is precisely why I would suggest that we, uh, do a one last sweep tomorrow for any other useful items before deciding what to do with the ship, whether that be cast it into the ocean burning or just straight up sink it, disassemble it, whatever that decision may be. But as for tonight, I would say we've all deserved a, a bit of a break.
And at that point, Dr. Murr chimes in and says, Yes, speaking of a break, you have won a great victory this day. Even greater than what we had expected with the return of one of our people. This is cause for celebration. And so celebrate we shall. Tonight, the city celebrates in your honor, in the honor of your victory. Has not Tremor heard about uh, what happened at the bar? <laughs> Steven or Rod? I'll say. Uh, I, a counter question Would he even care? Mostly yeah. in the form <laughs> of celebration. Well, knowing Captain Ready and most, uh, like, admirals and, you know, military personnel, generally speaking, back in the day, they didn't, like, discipline you unless you did something stupid while you were, like, on duty. If you were, like, off on leave and you, like, got into a bar fight, they're not going to deal about, um, you. more breaking the record for the most drink alcohol in one city in this world at the moment, Co. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you weren't here for that. <laughs> I I tried to drink close to a, what was it? A gallon of beer? You drank like a gallon and a half of potent alcohol. Yes. Between the three of you. But the other two stopped after like two, two or three drinks. Yeah. You just kept fucking going. I just kept going. going. So, back to even or odd. I said even. Even. <laughs> Tales of your your exploits have indeed made them to knock Jummer's ears, but it uh, does not. He either does not care or just does not oh, believe wonderful. it appropriate to mention, given the circumstances in which that occasion arose. I just need to know how much alcohol he's going to bring me for the party. Oh, you assume he's bringing it to you. Oh, God, no. Well, we're coming to it. Okay. The, he's, he would say, yeah, because continuation, there will be a party in your honor tonight. In, in the parade grounds, just below the Great Hall, we will set up a great feast. I have, we'll have the cook start it at once. There will be seep and food as much as you want, and the entire city will be invited to share in this great victory. The first blow struck against the Grick. It's cause for celebration indeed. Celebrating. And with that, him and Kasra are turn and leave. And they they get off the boat and head towards the Great Hall. G already left with Saakfas. And so we're kind of back Howdy. to uh, the evening is yours. You've got, you've got about an hour and a half to two hours before sundown and the start of the party. All right. Yeah, too. I would like to take one of the many fucking dragon teeth we have just basically laying around like fucking candy right now and try and fashion it into a knife. Alright. Uh, You'll have to get one from Isaac, because Isaac has all that shit. I will give him my dragon tooth. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't think he was going to say no. Uh -oh. um, around that, I took one for myself to hang around my neck. And I'm pretty sure I took one to make into a knife. You did, didn't you? 
I think you, yeah, I think you're dead. So yeah, never mind. You don't need to procure one from Isaac, but you do need to roll me crafting check to try to make a bone knife. There's no crafting stat in D and D. There's not. Yeah, I know. So it would be there's there's no bone workers tools. So I don't know what the fuck I don't I don't have any toolkits. I have so herbalism. Just... Which means he's not rolling it with any pluses. Just just roll it and Besides. add your wisdom. Yeah, wisdom is what we use for crafting for most of the time. Roll, uh, roll, roll and add well wisdom. if we went by my crafting rules, it depends on what kit you're using. Yeah. Well, roll and add your wisdom. Roll and add my wisdom. Because wisdom okay, is what's used for survival. Yes. So I'm, I'm gonna go for that. Maybe if I open up the right fucking menu, that would be useful. So I'm still fucking building a fucking map. Seven. Seven? Because wisdom's only plus three. <laughs> That is rough. Because uh, I don't get to add proficiency. It's rough, buddy. You, you try to create the, the knife, and uh, you get the rough shape of a knife, but you you are aware that this will not function as intended. But... All right. Well, oh, there goes my afternoon. <laughs> Right. Emma, I want to try to find Pinya. All right, you would uh, you would find him pretty easily, hanging out somewhere with uh, Sergeant Alden. Ah. Who is not on crutches? So proud of you, Alden. <laughs> uh, hey, Pinya. You wouldn't happen to know any um, Japanese ships that went missing over the course of time? He came in with us, didn't gives he? gives you a questioning look and says, Well, <laughs> in war, especially naval operations, these things happen, as I'm sure you and your comrades are well aware. It is not always known what happens if they are caught out alone and out of radio range and sunk. They are presumed missing until wreckage is found. Which may never happen. As for the entire recorded history of Japan, I have no doubt that hundreds of ships have gone missing, lost to storms and rough seas, pirates. any number of things. So, yes. There are missing Japanese ships, why do you ask? Uh, well, two things. Uh, would you know any of them that would have been heavily devoted to Ryujin? To Ryujin? None in my lifetime. Many of the Ships from centuries ago, maybe. Well, we, we found a dragon named Ryujin. So the and, tales have been told. Yes, we killed it. It had contact with all world, though. And the brick captain, who, well, we assume is the captain of the brick vessel that we took, killed himself when we attacked. <clears throat> How certain are you that this Ryujin truly had contact with our world? Fairly certain. From what I hear, this beast possessed 
psychic abilities. Perhaps it knew of your past and had discerned your past from without your knowledge from your mind it's and both. created a story that mm -hmm. would intrigue you to draw you in. Uh, he spoke solely Japanese. That I do not have an explanation for. I feel like if he was trying to draw us all in, he would have chose the language common to all of us, if he was probing our minds. This would make the most sense. I agree with you. So... I'm wondering if he took a ship with him at some point of ancient Japanese. And that is what found some of the Brit culture. The till before captured kind of thing. I cannot rule it out. The Honorable death has been a long and historically significant part of my country's past. <laughs> I cannot say certainly with this world, one way or the other, obviously. I know just what you have told me. It does seem like a unique thing to be a coincidence, but could be just that. It could be, but knowing your nationality and if there were more of them here, I figured you would like to know. If a possibility is not a guarantee, but still a possibility. To find more from my own would be Not unpleasant, however. Finding those from my home and returning to my home are two very separate things. Well, hopefully it's from a time before we were at war. And they've been here a while. For the sake of the Lemurians, I hope it's the same. Um, producer Dada, do you know who, um, uh, like, can he concern if it would have, like, a Japanese mate to it, Dustin? Sure, he can look at it. Oh, I'll hand it to Shinya if he can try to concern, discern if it would have been made from his country and if he can try to put an error on it. I don't have a fucking stat block for Shinya, you bastard. I'm sorry, but you said it might be Japanese and the Grit have replicated the ship, so they might as well... I never said the knife. knife was Japanese. The knife might not be, but the thing the Grit did was Japanese, and what if the Grit were going to learn how to make a knife from the Japanese, Shinya did point us at it. Uh, There's right? a lot of ifs there. That's a lot of ifs there, which is why I don't have a fucking stat block for Shinya. <laughs> we have a lot of ifs in our situation. We don't know who's pulling the strings for the Dread. Last time it was a Dryden. This time it could be an actual god. Mm, unlikely. Long story Not short, impossible. Shinya takes the knife, inspects it, and looks at it, and... He says there does not seem to be any Japanese influence. Um, if there were any influence, he would say it is most similar to like almost a ancient stone blade, but instead of stone, it is obsidian. It's kind of got that that flecked or flaked away, chipped away 
feature to it. Like, I don't have you ever seen an actual Obsidian Blade, Josh? Yes, yes, I have. So, so you you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So it's it's like that, and it doesn't really have any uniquely identifiable features to the world as any of you know. It just kind of is. I mean, it, it draws a one could draw a comparison to an ancient culture, especially along the lines of like the Mayan for uh, an ornamental or sacrificial ceremonial obsidian dagger. But uh, beyond the the fact that it is just a obsidian dagger, it doesn't draw really any parallels with any culture known to you. Nothing, nothing specifically pointing at any one ancestry. All right. Ah, thank you, Shinya. And uh, there's a party tonight for us taking the dirt out if you would like to come. So I have heard. Uh, All right. Anybody else got anything going on? I think I'm going to clean my gun and get used to filling in the shoes as the commander of communications, basically. All right. Yeah, I, I, I want to... Uh... Uh, uh, go off the ship uh, and go on the beach. Okay. Uh, when I'm on the beach, I'm gonna summon Campy to me. Come to me, Campy. Alright. You, uh, you summon her and you call Campy and, uh, Campy shows up on the beach in corporeal horse form, almost almost melting out of the water. I still can't get still can't get over how cool that is, Campy. <laughs> um, I would like to Oh shit, wait, how much time do I have until the party? Approximately two hours. Perfect. Uh, I am going to uh, ritual cast Find Familiar. Okay. Just, you know, spending a lot of time with Campy, just telling her stories. <laughs> Alright, so throughout this process of the ritual casting, it takes an hour and ten minutes. Okay. Regaling stories of your your past life, of your your specifically avoiding time from World War One as those memories are too painful. Um, telling her stories of your home growing up, of your wife. You have a, you have a kid, right? Yep. So yeah. Kind of stories of your wife and kid and going to school before uh, returning to the military to serve a, a greater good and after a, an hour or so of regaling these stories of your past life to your your you know your uh, your water horse um, Campy is now your familiar. All right. Ooh. Definitely feel a deeper, 
a deeper connection. Interesting. All right. Ooh, I'm wondering, is there anything else you can do? <laughs> I feel like we've upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, so yeah, she has whatever your familiar abilities have, are mm -hmm. as uh, well as the ability to shift between this uh, land-based horse form and then a, a shapeless sentient mass that can merge with and move through the water. And force interactions. So take that as you will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think you're a you're a gift from Lady Titania. I'm very well, when you say. Titania can't be lifts her head and looks at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, you know her? You can can you communicate telepathically with familiars? I forget. Typically. Yeah, with I haven't played a familiar based or a familiar using uh, class in D D. Yes, we can communicate telepathically. So you asked if Campy knows Titania and you hear a melodic voice in your head. Think the mermaids, or the, mer the mer people from Harry Potter Okay. in your head say she is the one that sent me to you. Oh. Oh. I thought so. This party's going to be pretty smoking. <laughs> I'll definitely need it. Especially after the last couple of days. Right. So I give her phew, 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 pet in the face, pet in the face. It's a very interesting sensation I bet. Um, as you do that, because uh, you you can tell it's water, but as you pull your hands away, your hands are not wet. Ugh. <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. Cool. Uh. Ah, damn, we got about an hour. Fuck. Uh... <laughs> oh, God. What am I gonna do for an hour? Well, I guess I'll go back to my room and try one more time at deciphering Bradford's... Chicken scratch? Chicken okay. scratch. Oh, God. <laughs> Please. Dice. Please. Nine. Even worse. That's so a, a three, right? That's a three. So yeah, you're man. You're just going downhill, buddy. You're you're you got nothing. Yeah. Damn. Have you rolled higher than? Okay, you rolled one nineteen today. Yes. For something that didn't matter, <laughs> like I, I'm really you, surprised. Yeah, you you I saw a, the a native slight... speaker yet? Yeah, Justin. Huh? You haven't Precise. turned to ask questions about the with the native speaker in the party. 
Well, Wolf okay, I, I was getting there. I wanted to surprise him, okay? He's oh, been... he was pride. <laughs> oh. And how has that been working out for you? Pride goeth before the fall. <laughs> I wanted to be like, hey, Wolfheart. Yo, mama's so fat. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you 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 learned if you rolled a nat one, you would have thought you understood things perfectly, oh, and you would have walked up to Wolfheart trying to surprise him with your language, and you would have said something about like, "Hey, you fat chicken fucker, what's up?" <laughs> hey, you. Well, that's different. I don't think that's <laughs> what he's trying to say right now. <laughs> I, I, my, Wolfhart's immediate thought would have been he has no idea what he's talking about. Just He thinks he knows, but he doesn't know. Let him talk it's to like, the nurse. It's like when you hear like, meow or bark back, meow at your cat or bark back at your meow. dog. It's like, why did you just call me a racist asshole? <laughs> like, why are you talking about tax codes? Like, what? I said I'm hungry, and you're just like, Y equals MX plus B, motherfucker. <laughs> Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. The taxes. <laughs> they really hit us hard this year. <laughs> By the way, Josh, I built the house you're going to break into now. It's a nice oh. house. It's all the better to break and rob. I'll devastate. I don't have to take anything. So I might take things and give them to random people on the street. Imagine breaking into a house and deciding that there's nothing of value in there, so you just leave everything. How insulting. No, I'm getting paid to rent it. Not the point. Onward. <laughs> I don't know why closed tips there. Alright. Yeah. Does anybody else have anything they want to do? Until I'm allowed off the ship, not really. Okay. And, yeah. So, I don't think I want to start the whole party scene. Aw, oh, you bastard! <laughs> because it's probably going to take more than the 20 minutes we have before... We have more than 20 nine. minutes? No, we have Josh 20 minutes left. probably doesn't leave until 9.30. We have an hour. I don't think we'll get the whole scene done by then, and I'd rather just do the whole thing. You know? Uh, you, know, you know what I'm saying, though? Mm. So we're, we're not going to jump right into that party scene. Baby. But what anybody that is on or near the ship notices is oh. a very large crowd over the, the few hours before the party, has gathered near to the captured Grick ship. And there is a boat that is taking Lemurian citizens hmm. from the shore to the Grick ship. One load at a time. Letting them go up, walk around, and return. You would notice that there are no children among this crowd. These all seem to be Lemurians that are well matured, many in the prime of their lives, so to say. Uh, a smaller portion are the more elderly. Um, uh, but sorry. all have this kind of quiet, reserved, respectful reverence as they're all patiently waiting for their turn to go over and see the horrors of what the Grick have done. It's almost like fucking Holocaust camps in their eyes. 
Very similar. What's the home phone? Very similar. Choo choo. What's the holocaust? Choo choo. <laughs> what just fucking happened? <laughs> oh god! Let me ask the serious question, Austin. Choo choo! Oh my god, he's gonna get cancelled on Twitch. <laughs> oh god. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm stuck with. <laughs> Love you too, buddy. Yeah. No, I, I just still, you motherfuckers haven't found the most intriguing part of this entire session. Which is? <laughs> if it is in, if it is you something cool, it. That... never put it behind a check. They will never find it. Yup. DC 10, Jacob. DC fucking 10. I have a plus one perception. <laughs> What floor was it on? You fucking saw it. Didn't do anything with it. Me? The bones? bones? Not, not you. Is it the bones? Which one was the not you for? To you, Austin. Oh. The bones? Yeah. Is it the bones that are underneath the fucking de the the fucking bed that they saw and didn't say anything about? <laughs> was it the fact yeah. that they weren't fucking Greek bones and they're human? I guess you'll find out next week. No, Yay. We, <laughs> we didn't even really See, look at the bones. We like honed in on the fucking I, dead Greek body. I thought I lost all interest in the bones when I found the magic knife. Oh, man. Kubo, why did you roll? I wasn't on the ship at this point. It's not my fault. Yeah, I haven't never. I'm not. I didn't go into that fucking room. I'm not apologizing. I think I might need to start rolling physical dice again. <laughs> what do you think I've had to resort to to Austin's campaign? It's not working. <laughs> oh, God. But, all right. I think... Unless That's Josh wants to talk to my fucking character for the two hours. Yeah, I mean, unless you want to do that. I've already talked with Shinya for the day. Ah, uh, that, that, that's what you were doing, you bastard. Oh, and did the let Shinya know his people might have just... Uh... With my luck, y'all are going to be fucking blind next week, too. And it's yeah. not... It's not so interesting as it is funny for what I'm planning for having to have you guys see next week. But, like, but with your guys' luck, you're not going to see it anyways. Except the fact that you have two uh, 19 passives in the party. Is one of them you? Yes! The other one's me. Yeah. So I'm not sure you would notice anything weird about it, Austin. To be, to be frank. Yeah. What? What? Which, which floor was it on? Oh, uh, the, this thing, this other thing I'm talking about for next yeah. week is not. It's not on the Greek ship. Oh, okay. But I, I'm not sure you would. Even if you see it, I'm not sure how much you would think about it being weird in the first place. I guess you'll have to tell me what it is for what it, depending on what it, what my reaction would be. We'll find out. <laughs> Unless we're he forgets. Stream because we're just talking in circles yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, also, Jacob, there's more Doombreaker out. Yeah. <laughs> or, or as we, or as we like to call it, uh, reincarnation of suicidal battle god. <laughs> I, I sent Austin the link to the thing. And he's like. What the fuck is this? I sent you this, basically, with the question mark. I know it, there's more out. He's like, huh? I'm kind of just mad because no one wanted to talk to me besides the captain. I felt it was... You, you're too, to me, you're not that interesting. 
right? Mm-hmm. You you are a n- another person, another humanoid. Oh wow, you can live for a long time. So can ninety five percent of the people on this ship. Uh, no, it's more the fact that I met your people and I was one that gave the, your people the maps. I'm surprised you weren't interested in. What? Yes. I I, I, I yes. guess for the last thirty we, seconds. We we I have we have put, put out at this point. Wolfheart is the most level headed person out of all of his fucking people. He's not gonna go up to you and be like, "Oh my God, is here!" and start bowing. Oh, you know, that's the thing. Like, I just I'm waiting for fucking your high priest to. I'm going to let's be real. Wolfheart is going to smack the shit out of his high priest when he starts to do that. 